is going on and welcome back to another video on Conqueror's Blade. So we are revisiting a little bit of an old classic, the old uh, Rattan Marksman, these little uh, repeating crossbow dudes. Um, I don't particularly know why we're revisiting them. I've always sort of had a bit of a soft spot for these guys. They're a little bit crap, really. <laughs> There's no other way of saying it. They're not a particularly great unit. Um, but they are fun, and I just really love the fact that they fire so ridiculously fast. And, I mean, as you probably saw at the start of the video, the fire rate is just insanity. But, unfortunately, the damage is really, really low. Um, there's kind of two reasons for it. Their actual base piercing damage isn't that bad at 1275, but it's the armor penetration that lets them down. 951, and that's 951 with the plus 75 doctrine. Um, it's just not enough. Realistically, that's not going to be penetrating anything sort of beyond light armoured units and so it's basically going to hit its minimum damage which is about 100 when it doesn't penetrate at all and even if you're firing you know five bolts a second 100 damage is no great shakes and with most units now being fairly fireproof unless you hit them a fair bit then you know realistically setting things on fire isn't going to happen super quickly occasionally it pans out you know if you start getting side shots into a unit of keshi because it can't get at you because you're on stairs or something like that then it works really well because of course you know keshi being a fairly lightly armored cavalry unit means they take a good chunk of damage and actually you start to hit for six seven eight hundred per shot and then your firing is five volts a second from 28 units and suddenly your damage output is actually really good plus they do burn so yeah there's suddenly a lot more potential there so every now and then you get a moment and it's really good fun because it just throws a thousand bolts out a second and just slaughters everything. But by and large, you run into a unit of stalwarts, fire 200 bolts of which 199 get stuck in the shield, and then you just get run over. So a bit of a mixed unit, a bit of a mixed bag. Um, very, very, very fragile, only 1,700 hit points. They do have decent piercing defense, but, but with so little hit points, they pretty much one shot to, to longbow heroes and enemy uh, ranged units. So you really have to avoid getting shot at really at all. But anyway, enough chit chat. I don't want this to be a long intro, so let's just hop into a little battle with them and start throwing around some crossbow bolts. So we kick things off on Valley Fortress. Um, I just got the tower pushed in with my Martellatori, got them killed almost immediately, and thought, okay, well, let's get grabbing a unit. Decided to grab these guys because you actually get a reasonable staging area here off the top of the siege tower. And so I decided to play it a bit aggressive. I thought that these shields probably wouldn't want to move forwards, and if they did, I thought the Condotary behind me, or my hopefully quick reaction skills, would be able to save the unit. So you can see we're actually getting some damage in already. We seem to be hitting with the bolts between sort of 500 and 1000 once they get past the shields. So it's hardly exactly slaughtering everything, but it is gaining some kills. And then as these spear militia come into view, they also start getting hit, and actually you saw some of them on the end there start to get set on fire and that's kind of where the unit does pretty well then obviously a glorious unit of very lightly armored pike militia comes up to the stairs and well you know i'm not going to say no to such a gift horse and since the unit seemed to be pretty well positioned to shoot down the stairs i kind of just left them there initially but with the a point sort of having been captured by the friendly troops i kind of shifted to behind the staircase so i could sort of readjust my position particularly with that enemy archer fire coming down and that kind of enables us to now start to transition to shooting down the stairs. And generally, this seems to be what works best for me for this unit, playing them aggressively. I find that when you try and be uh, fairly tactical with them and shoot from a distance, I find you tend to struggle more, and you kind of see that later on in the game. I think in this sort of situation where you don't really care about them all that much, push them quite aggressively, particularly if you can get allied support to protect them, then they work really well. And in this situation here, you know, like where we're just throwing shots in on these lightly armoured units, you know, you really kill them quite effectively because the burn actually does start to come in. And, you know, you can see that ticking burn damage affecting. So not only does that increase the amount of damage they do, but it also is realistically stopping them from attacking our allied troops back. So, you know, it's really useful not only for your own damage, but for the team to be able to work in that way. So... With those pike militia dead and the A point captured, supply point captured, B is the next obvious step. Arguably under no normal circumstances you might think about pushing the C point, but you know a, a rat and crossbows are really not the unit to be doing it with. We come down, there's a couple of sort of lightly armoured units here, and since this is what these guys really excel at killing, 
it seemed a shame to say them to say no, so I actually directed some fire on them, and as you see, it cuts them cuts them down really effectively. Because once you actually do penetrate a unit's armour, and you're firing five bolts a second, then actually you rack up a lot of damage really quickly. That's why I say this unit is effective against sort of light and sort of medium light uh, enemy troops, like these spear militia. You know, an equivalent sort of tier stuff like this, it does well at. It's when you start to encounter more heavy, heavily armoured troops, you see that that damage really starts to drop off. We then get some enemy halberdiers, and again, you know, perfect enemies for me to be dealing with, really. You know, they just walk around the corner, and you see we're hitting like a thousand a shot. I mean, look how much damage we do, it's insane. I mean, just love this unit for that. And that's what makes them one of my favourite units. Um, not because they're good, but because it's just really satisfying walking around a corner and just basically machine gunning enemy units with crossbow bolts. And the fact that they have that little bit of flame damage as well, you know, really just kind of uh, neatens it up slightly for me. So we kind of then push up this street. We have got allied troops pushing up, we've got these paladins pushing up. But we are starting to take return fire from the enemy hero and we're just shooting really into a shield unit. So we're not really being very effective. So I was trying to see if I could flank to get a better shot, particularly maybe on these muskets, but realistically those muskets will turn and shoot me the second I step around that corner. Combine that with the fact I actually started to take a bit of return fire from some enemy archers up on the wall, and then, you know, you kind of get a bit stuck. So I'm looking for a different angle, and I kind of come around here, I felt I was out of range of these enemy muskets, go for the damage buff with my glaive, and actually we get quite a lot of damage in. And you can see sort of how effective it is against the lightly armoured enemy ranged unit. Some of the shots are overshooting and hitting into the sort of enemy more armoured units behind. You can see they're the ones that are hitting for like 65 or critting for 100. And that's the problem when you're hitting these more armoured units. But in this situation, I think they work quite well. We started getting a bit of fire from enemy bow hero shooting at me. And since I was about to run out of ammo anyway, and a couple of the units were very low, I decided it was a good time to pull them back and throw them on the supply point. I was kind of a bit conscious of what was coming up on the wall here. But it, it actually seemed like, I don't know, either a sword militia or a, a pike unit. Kind of, you normally get enemy enemy archers stacking up on that wall. And then that can actually be a bit of a problem, because they can shoot on the supply point from there. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why some enemy sword units, maybe they were expecting a, a ladder rush or something. <laughs> I'm not sure. But, yeah, kind of a lead them to it. I had a go at, as they were rounding that corner to see if they could shoot up sufficiently, the enemy units. They get one or two shots in, but it wasn't really doing a great deal, so I kind of got a bit fed up with that game and focused my attention back on trying to push the b-point. Obviously we've got enemy archers up there on the right and you know they're a little bit out of range really. I can sort of hit them potentially but realistically you see kind of from my shots not very many of them go in and once they start to return fire on me you know they cut me down a lot more effectively because they are really quite brutal and these guys as we said at the start do not have a lot in the way of hit points. I then get hit from the bottom from a javelin volley, which is why I'm now walking at the speed of a snail, and realise I'm kind of a bit stuck. I've got to get across this open ground to the safety of the B-point to try and uh, look after myself. We managed to get across. We take a few more casualties sort of from the bleed damage, I think. And that's really about the end of our success of the unit with this game. But hopefully it gives you a good idea that the unit can be effective when it can target sort of lower tier enemy units sort of things that are the same tier of itself and below are going to be taking a good chunk of damage from these guys. Anything else more armoured, realistically, your minimum damage is going to hit for like 100, sort of 60 to 100. You're really not going to be doing all that much. But they do get the fire damage, so it is obviously quite nice when you get to throw it against uh, things like uh, Keshigs, things like that. Rat of Rangers can be quite an effective one, quite a fun one to burn. So the fire does come in and can make them an effective unit. Anyway, Probably not one I'd recommend as something you really need to be grinding for, but they are kind of a fun little side unit, I suppose. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Of course, subscribe to the channel for lots more Conqueror's Blade content. Thanks for watching, guys, and I shall see you all on the next video.